So there's a problem with this trailer. The paperwork is 40 and 32 on the temperatures, but I got a negative 20 on the trailer. And I'm at the right trailer. So we're gonna see what's going on, man. If it's been sitting here for too long, the load can be bad already. See, look. That's no good. So the problem with that is we got dairy products that are not frozen and they're sitting in a frozen temperature. Zone two, yeah. So we could have cartons of milk that are like a block, frozen like ice cream right now. And you can't deliver that. So somebody in the warehouse made a mistake. They weren't paying attention to the, you know, to the temperatures on the trailer. So right now, I guess we're on standby to see if I'm gonna take this load or not, or whatever they're gonna do. Right now, we're currently on standby. They're gonna open up the trailer and make sure there's no damage. So we'll see what's going on. So it was just as I thought, a lot of the product got frozen out because of the bad temperature, right? The off temperature. So it's just a one-stop Santa Fe Springs and I'm gonna go to Colton to do a dropping hook. I'm just waiting on them. It's still uh, under a red light, so it's not ready yet, but I'm just right here for when it's ready. It should be, should be done any minute. Yeah, dude, I'm pretty sure whoever did that either got fired or written up. They probably just got written up, but if this happened more than once with the same person, they probably let them go. So, looks like I gotta go follow the leader, go get my trailer. Unless if he's gonna drop it right there. Nah, he's gonna go take it around the corner. How are we looking? I think we're low enough. We're good. Let's back in. came in kind of rough right there but we're good I didn't hit it too hard Ugh. yeah we're good we're locked in you probably can't see it because of the Sun but we're good to go check my trailer lights I did the rest of the circle check the tires and the sliding tandem pins we're good um, they put a new seal on it of course because they had to break the original to get in there so I gotta go to the office and get a new batch of paperwork. Let's get her done. So this is gonna be a nighttime run. I'm probably gonna get back at like six in the morning or something, maybe later than that. Just this whole temperature thing messed the whole, ugh. Yeah, dude, we got a new load. Same trailer, but different weight because they had to throw all the caca off of there. So we gotta do our macros all over again. So I just pulled up to Santa Fe Springs. Man, the dock over here is designed really bad. I mean, I had to park right on the wall to where I could barely open my door. It took a minute, but I got inside. I kept having to ring that bell on the back, man. See, look at this. I'm gonna squeeze right here. I should have just came in on the other side, but you know me. I gotta make everything harder than what it is. All right, so our next trip is to the Colton yard. I'm gonna get this truck washed. And then after that, we got a backhaul that's right behind the yard. And I might have to strap up the load, so let's get to her. I hope they sent the email right here at the gate. It is. Thank you. We'll shut this off right here in the shop. I just came through to get some windshield wiper fluid, hopefully, and to use the truck wash. Hopefully it's up and running. Sometimes when you come through, the, uh, the truck wash is down. I hope that's not tonight. But yeah, I'm right here on home base at the Colton Yard. 
And we got um, our own mechanics. All right, so I'm gonna get the truck and the trailer washed. Um, it's a good thing that they fixed this keypad. When I first started, the um, this keypad was all messed up. You know, you would touch this part of the screen and it would activate the other side. So yeah, this is our truck wash right here. It's like a little drive through Really convenient, dude. So, now we're stopped. And the wash is going to activate. As you can see, dude, I don't know if you can see that. I got bugs bad, dude. When I was leaving out of Shafter, I got coated. I had to stop at the, uh, the pilot on the grapevine to clean it off, dude. So, this is good. I'm going to go down 7 standard this time to get back because I don't want to mess up my wash. Whenever I come in, what's that? 46, I think it is. I always get caked with bugs because you're going right through the fields, you know. Right here in the yard. I'm going to use the restroom and then we got to go next door to do a drop in milk. One time when I started, I was out here and I saw one of my homies sleeping. I asked him, what's going on? He said he was team driving, but his teammate was out doing a load without him, so he didn't have nowhere to go. Man, it sucks. I invited him into my truck because I got a bunk, you know. I told him, my dude, just get your own, uh, get your own truck. I almost fell. Pretty big yard, huh? There's the rental cars right there. I want to address this thing about big corporations like mine that tell their employees, we are family. Never believe that, okay? It's a good practice to keep your love life, private life, family life, separate from your job. So when you got some corporation trying to like brainwash you, we are family, no. Where you work is where you work. It's your job, it's where you're professional. I don't need to be professional when I'm with my family, okay? You just are who you are when you're with your mom, dad, sister, brother, cousins, aunt, uncles. <sighs> don't fucking drink that kind of a Kool-Aid. You know what I mean? Never buy into that. That's a way for them to try to keep employees on this we are family stuff. I think that's a really unhealthy way to look at your job. You know what I mean? Like, you could meet somebody at work. <laughs> say you meet some broad and you're all into her and you just so happen to have met her at work. They say don't do that. But, you know, that comes from HR. HR doesn't want you dating at work because, um, you know, things, things can go south. And, uh, yeah, as far as you messing around with somebody at work... It's up to you. The bad part about it is say something went wrong. Now you gotta see this person every day at work. So it's kinda, kinda weird. But the way society is moving, we work so much when you're an adult. Where else are you gonna meet somebody? You're gonna go join one of these clubs? Ain't no fucking club when you're an adult, dude. But as far as that, we are family stuff, never buy into that, dude. Fresh out of the wash like that. I really don't got to be doing all that, but I figured, yeah, might as well. So we got to go to the office and get our paperwork. I just dropped the whole trailer. Where we're at right now, it's called GCC. I forget what that stands for. This is a uh, lineage. I don't know why they call it GCC. If you work for CR England, you've been here. This is where I picked up my first load ever with the company when I was on OTR. We went from here to Missouri on my first day. It was really cool. Um, we were here for like five hours and I was just tripping off the truck and I got no sleep. And when my mentor woke up, he was like, you're driving. I was like, fuck, dude. So let's see what they got. Okay, so we're looking for a 315-809. I know where they're parked usually, so let's go get her. Yeah, I'm right where I just dropped off the last trailer. 
Let's go check it out. I can see it from here. I'm gonna lower it just a bit. I wanna get it just a little lower than that so I can lift up the landing gear legs when I back in. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So we just hooked up to her. Let's go out and do a circle check. Let's go. Drop the glove. Let's go under here real quick. Let's make sure we're uh, locked in on our fifth wheel. We're good to go. That's something that you always want to check right there, dude. You get in a lot of trouble if you don't. Let's go. Let's get out of here. So I just checked the roof. We're below 50%, but we're good. As loud as these reefers are, they're out. These reefers are really fuel efficient, to be honest. But uh, I don't know if you can see that. That's where your reefer fuel level gauge is, whatever the hell. We're fine, though. What I do want to check is if they put a strap on the load. I got an extra strap right here for the trailer before. Because usually they don't strap down the loads. Usually that's our job, I guess, even though it's pretty easy to do. How about my lights? See, si, senor? Uh, yeah. All my lights are working. We're good. Let's open up this trailer, though. Yeah, just as I thought. See, look, you got a strap right there, but it's not on the load. Oh well, I'm gonna do it right now. So check this out. I got uh, the load strap down. They had two straps right here on the load. So this extra one from the last trailer, I'm gonna go put it in the back of the last trailer that I had. That's an extra one from the last one, but I wanna leave it for another driver. Cause I already have two on mine. Oh, dude, my glasses are all foggy now. Let's close this down. They're gonna, uh, they're gonna seal us out on the way out, but I'm gonna go throw this in the other trailer before I take photos and head out. Yeah, so this is the one we just dumped. We'll go ahead and uh, put the strap right there. It looks dark on camera, huh? Let's go ahead and shut it down. Yeah, let's go take photos and head out. Yeah, when it comes to straps right here at GCC, or any uh, shipper who doesn't strap down the load, because a lot of them do, right? A lot of the smaller shippers will strap down your load, but the big ones like this, forget about it. All right, so that completes our circle check. Let's uh, put all this shit away, do our macros, and we're going back to Bakersfield. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I guess it's just because I haven't been here in a while and I'm used to running a trailer with a seal on it, but here they put the seal on for you when you get out, so. Man, I look like shit. I'm tired. I got an hour and a half left on my clock and that's on my 14. I'm gonna unhook this trailer and pass out. Oh, let's do it. All right, let's do take two. Sometimes I forget to uh, get off of the, what you call it, the kingpin. That's what happens. All right, well, be sure to smash the like button on this video. Subscribe to the channel. And um, that's about it for today. I'm going to take the lock off the trailer. Y'all have a good one. Dude, I'm tired, bro.